Well, Canada is getting some help to ease its EpiPen shortage. The federal health minister says an American brand of auto injector will be imported into the country very soon. The injector is called AviQ. It delivers the same labeled dose of epinephrine as the EpiPen, and it's expected to be available for pharmacies to order by the end of the week and on shelves by September 7th. There's been an ongoing shortage of EpiPen and EpiPen Junior at pharmacies since the spring. As an emergency measure, Health Canada's advised people to keep and use their expired EpiPens. Now, our next guest says she welcomes this news. Jennifer Gertz is a mother of twin boys living with multiple food allergies. Food allergies. You're also the executive director for Food Allergy Canada, an advocacy group uh, for Canadians with food allergies. Yes. So how welcoming is this news to your family that there is now going to be another kind of EpiPen for you? Well, this is great news, very positive news that Health Canada has taken this step and one that we've been advocating with them and working with a bunch of multi-stakeholders to get to this point. It's great news because epinephrine is the first line treatment for a severe allergic reaction. So my sons on a daily basis have to be very vigilant in avoiding multiple foods that they're allergic to. And the only course of treatment if they do have a reaction is epinephrine. So it's an imperative that we have this available for families across Canada and individuals across Canada who are at risk of anaphylaxis. And were you impacted by this shortage? What have you been doing? We've, since we've hung on to our, well, we've been, a, there has been some supply in the marketplace where it became very problematic was on July 30th when it was clear that a shipment was not going to come in in the month of August, which is back to school time becomes problematic so it there has been supply in the marketplace up until this past month and it really elevated and you saw the response by Canadians it really meant that this was a serious problem for Canadians and so action needed to be taken saving expired ones or just administering one to each patient did that make sense to you well we're taking our direction from uh, the medical community and from Health Canada on the, the use of expired epinephrine um, the administering uh, pharmacists only giving out one uh, prescription at a time was a precautionary measure to make sure that everybody could get access to some level of, of product. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not where we want to be. The solution long term is to getting back to, to being able to get two doses when you go to your, your pharmacy and having available supply on an ongoing basis. And we think that is having a minimum of two manufacturers in this space in Canada. So is that something that your organization is pushing for? Absolutely. And Health Canada is on board with this as well. We've been in contact with Health Canada. In fact, we were meeting at a federal level with the Health Ministry office on this, making sure that this is a priority. And we've also been outreaching to those pharmaceutical manufacturers to let them know there's 2.6 million Canadians living with this. 50% of Canadian households are impacted by this. And that we are in a situation where we only have one source of supply. Mm -hmm. We wanted them to get on board. And I'm happy to say that they are. They are, they are responding. It takes time to get the approvals through the process. And this interim solution gives us some breathing space until we can get those second and third suppliers authorized for sale broadly throughout the country. Literally breathing space, because when you need yes. epinephrine, you need it. You it's need vital it. you in, need it. in a matter of you minutes, need it. right? And when you hear people saying, I don't know if I should be using my device because I can't get another one, that's a problem. Right. Well, thank you for joining us thank to you. speak about this today. That is, um, that is Jennifer Gertz joining us here in studio. Thank you.